Hey water signs and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and you decided to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. Um, so water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is a Valentine's Day edition. I just want to see what's going on with the energy, who's in your energy, what to prepare for for Valentine's Day this year for you guys. Very general message, okay? So it may or may not resonate with you. It might not entirely resonate, um, but just take what does, leave what does not for the next person. Um, so water signs, song selection. I got Make You Feel My Love, but I got the original by Billy Joel. Um... And it just made me think of the remake by Adele. So I actually listened to both of them. Um, but I feel like there's somebody showing up in your energy who is determined to make you feel their love. Or is who who's determined to kind of like somebody has something to prove to you, okay? Um, or someone really cares about you, has a lot of feelings or emotions. Um, and whatever is taking place, you know, for Valentine's Day, it's I feel like it's very heartfelt and it's very thoughtful, okay? Or this could be your energy towards someone, Water Signs. Um, the second song I got was Killing Me Softly by Lauren Hill. So for some reason with that song, I kind of got that you guys may be in the energy of like of a shock or not not believing like what you're hearing or what somebody is telling you. Um not not in a bad way, but in a mind-blowing type of way, okay? So if someone here that's showing up that knows your story or understands your story or may have, like, lived your story before, okay, just with that song. Um, but that's what we got. So we have a couple of cards that fell out here. We have Breakup is the first card out, okay? Breakup, Friends, Unfinished Business, Social Media, and Text Message. All right, so some of you could have just recently gone through some sort of separation here. Um, but this could also be someone from your past, okay? Maybe for some of you guys, you may still be friends, okay, with an ex or cordial with an ex. And I feel like this person, um, it's very possible that this person wants to spend time with you, okay? So even though you guys aren't together, they may be reaching out, asking to get pizza, um, because it's pizza here on this car or just something very lighthearted. We also have after breakup we have friends and then we have unfinished business okay so i do feel as if this is someone that you have separated yourself from okay you've disconnected your energy from this person that is showing back up somebody feels as if you guys have some sort of unfinished business here um it's almost like an agenda so i feel like that's another thing too so for some of you guys this could be an actual friend somebody that you you were never with romantically showing up um wanting to spend time with you for v day you could just be spending time with friends for valentine's day but i feel like somebody has an agenda there's something about someone coming in here and making it seem like very lighthearted. um but it's like there's a secret crush here or like there is like this person wants to kind of um take these to the next level or be romantic with you so they might not be fully saying that but that's the intentions that i'm getting behind this person we also have social media and we have text message okay um so again you may be socializing a lot here there could be something going on with social media you could be seeing something on social media or someone okay in your energy is watching your social media or seeing you okay and that's what's making them want to return i kind of feel like somebody is is interested as to like what you're up to okay um, and it may have been a, a little while since you've spoken to this person, all right, with this text message card. But at the bottom of the deck, um, water signs, we have new love, okay? So you do have past energy showing up here, but we also have new love in your life, okay? And if this is not something that's already happening for you, this could, again, just come out the blue on Valentine's Day because we also have change, okay? But also, behind change, we have the player card here, and we have relationships. So water signs okay this could be you or this could be someone that you're dealing with whoever this new person is for you okay if it resonates i feel like they're this person somebody's changing for you either they have changed for you or they're changing for you it's connected to this new love though so i feel like maybe in the past this new love was like not committal or they weren't looking to like settle down okay or you weren't looking to settle down here maybe you used to be a player or this other person used to be a player but there's something about this new connection that's coming in for you that is changing the way you think about relationships here okay relationship all right so let's see 
let's see what comes out in the tarot for you guys if you haven't already please go ahead and like the video comment i comment back share and of course subscribe the more you interact here with the content on the channel the more i push your energy into these messages and i can better pick up on what's going on with you so yeah six of wands now six of wands is a victory it's also it's something about social media or your social status or just like your your friend group or something like that okay i feel like you're getting a lot of attention or you're giving a lot of attention to this person with the six of wands um overall this is a card of victory okay we also have the ace of swords and we have the chariot card so there's some sort of movement here i kind of feel like somebody's been holding back four of swords moon card nine of cups okay viewing you as their wish fulfillment or you viewing them as their wish fulfillment but whatever if there has been some sort of like complacency or stagnancy in a connection or in your love life something is moving forward here okay somebody could be speaking their truth to you okay with this ace of swords um somebody's coming in very swiftly here it could be a cancer for some of you guys it does not have to be but it's positive movement forward um something here is like a win it's almost this victory it's a winning energy so let's just see spirit what other messages we have for my water signs judgment here yeah it's a lot of like um energy of like being set in stone okay i'm out for some reason i'm hearing like a contract or signing of a contract so this could just simply be um like a solidification of like some sort of commitment for you guys as well what other messages spirit do we have for my water signs okay for valentine's we have temperance card and we have the seven of swords it's almost like I don't know if you guys are like planning something, but it's almost like you don't see something coming here or you didn't see something com coming. Okay, this peace, balance, and harmony. What are the messages? Valentine's Day spirit. For my water signs this year, what's going on? Who's in your energy? What is the energy looking like? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so things are turning here. The tables are turning here. But like the Wheel of Fortune is on your side. It's almost like an opportunity. I'm hearing once in a lifetime opportunity. Okay, let's see seven of cups here okay now this feels like this kind of feels like your imagination it is water energy right P cancer pisces scorpio um somebody could have you in your head or in your imagination okay or fantasizing all right or you're fantasizing um they're fantasizing about you but let's see we have the five of cups we have the hermit card here a lot of you guys are going through a separation though, or a breakup, like some sort of healing this Valentine's Day. You could also, um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. I have Virgo in your chart with this Hermit card. We have the Empress, so that's Libra Taurus here. Um, hmm. Let's see, what else, Spirit? We got the Four of Cups, okay? I feel like I'm picking up on a lot of water signs who are either single, okay? You've either, it's a mixture of you're recently single, okay? Or maybe you've been single for some time, like you've been waiting. I keep getting once in a lifetime opportunity. So it's like you've been waiting on this opportunity or waiting on this type of person to come in here, okay? And I feel like it's here with the Empress card, but what else? We got the Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. You, you may be in your head about this, okay? Or there's something about um i'm getting something about hot and cold or one foot in one foot out here okay a lot a lot of cups showing up here all right we got the seven of wands okay so for some of you guys the Wheel of Fortune is giving me some sort of quickness here. So I feel like there was a breakup that happened on your end or another person's end here. But the Wheel of Fortune is some sort of shift or change that's coming in very fast. So maybe it's like either you or someone else is still getting over something here, okay? Or um, whatever this change, whatever this once in a lifetime event person whatever's happening for valentine's day for you it's like pulling you out of this um it's almost like you're in an energy of like just thinking love isn't for you or just being very fed up or hopeless in regards to like relationships and people and wasting your time and your energy somebody is standing up for you okay with the seven of wands somebody's showing up for you or this is you like something um is pulling you out of your mopey type of energy and you feel very like inspired um, to go towards whatever this is, whoever this is for Valentine's Day. We have the tower card here. Yeah, I'm picking up on like water signs. It's almost like you 
um you count it out valentine's day for this year like you're not thinking about it or you're trying not to think about it you made up your mind you were just gonna focus on yourself okay um be alone here with this hermit energy but the tower card okay so these might have been your intentions water signs to go into hermit mode okay but the tower card is, is a shock Okay, I don't, I keep getting of a lifetime. So for some reason, I'm hearing like a shock of a lifetime, opportunity of a lifetime. Okay, so um, let me know in the comment section how this is resonating for you. I can tell you with this empress showing up here, okay, whether it's an empress or emperor, however it resonates for you. This is all of the queens in one. This is all of the kings in one. So I feel like you guys are viewing um, somebody showing up here as like this very, um, empress emperor type of energy okay as this very motherly fatherly husband wife type of energy here and then we got the two of swords okay so this is you choosing this okay or there's something about um there's something about like a decision or a choice it's like it's kind of like this came out of nowhere okay so i feel like this is happening for you the closer we get to valentine's day like this is coming out of nowhere or um, maybe you're already in this energy of this opportunity, this person, it kind of just all happened all of a sudden out of nowhere and you're spending time with this person for Valentine's Day. We do have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So um, this is valuable time being spent together. This is money. Um, this is the ideal lifestyle. This is longevity that I'm getting here. The Empress is already, you know, classified as like a wife. So something here is like really shifting out of nowhere. We we got the king of cups this is your energy water signs okay um whether you're male or female watching this we got the king of cups it's like you're seeing somebody as your end all be all okay or somebody seeing you that way king of cups is here and we have the queen of cups so now we have true counterparts on the table it's something about marriage or a very strong soul tie or commitment here we also have the death card and the strength card it's almost like life after death or some sort of rebirth after a loss or a separation okay um so let's just see what comes out with the kipper deck for you guys if you're looking for something a little bit more personal check out the description box below in regards to how to get in contact with me we do have mature woman we have main female we have occupation change and gift okay so there's someone there's someone of like high status or value here whether it's a male or female because we have the empress now we have mature woman but it's kind of like you are wanting to make this person your main or somebody's wanting to make you their main here look at this main male it's like i keep getting the same energies of like you guys marrying each other um same thing with the song killing me softly is something about like someone else understanding you on some sort of like deeper crazy level here yeah we got the courthouse it's a lot of like contract commitment um solidifying type of energy what else spirit other messages we have from my water signs for valentine's day okay the main mail came out again we have thoughts look at this this is either somebody strongly thinking about you okay you about them or it's very mutual here okay and at the bottom of the deck we got great fortune we already have the will of fortune the empress the ten of pentacles um the privileged lady like i don't know what else to tell you guys leave me a comment below letting me know if you want to claim this reading if it's already resonating like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time